So I'm just going to, at the bottom axis, I'm going to put question number one, two, three, four. And let's assume for the moment this is a passing level in the middle. And this is hard. And this is easy. And let's actually follow this graph down as you're taking the test. The first question, you got it right. Awesome. You are at the passing level right now. And at the same time, what's happening is that computer is going to say, you know what, I'm about this sure that this guy, Zhang, is going to pass this test after getting the question right. And after second question, let's say, ah, oh, I didn't get it right. Go slightly lower. Let's go down all the way here because that's, I could correspond with that. And then at this point, computer is a little more sure. So that this is called the confidence level actually decreased decrease. What I mean by that, it narrows because it's computers now more sure of where you're going to end up being. So this is a path. If you got it right, it's going to go up slightly higher like this. And then at the same time, the band is going to become narrower and narrow. Now, after a certain number of questions in any cat, if the computer is sure that this confident index falls within the passing level, this passing level, this is passing, let's say, this is failing, if you get in that level, it will say, you pass the test, congratulations, celebrate. If you actually, the confidence level's hanging out here, then you'll immediately stop and say, you know what, you didn't do a good enough job, come back next time. Now, they're going to throw, if, but at the same time, if your confidence level is, so hang, goes out and goes out and goes out and still hangs out here, it's going to continue to throw you questions until they're sure that you're above or below that level. So in some ways, you don't even know how many questions you will have to answer. Uh, you will know minimal number of questions you have to have to answer, but you will not know in the cat that how many questions you'll know you'll have to answer in order to finish the test when you actually start the test.